<laughs> Sorry, I'm just answering a message here. Jill. Or Jill. Yes. What happened in that bathroom? Well, she said that there were dogs, so I imagine some weird stuff had to go down. That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. What the the? Crafty dogs, I tell you. You'd think their short legs would hinder them. The, the ceiling. The sinks. The toilets. The vents. Shh. You'll wake up Briar Rose over there. I won't forget this. Oh no. <laughs> I can't wait to see what the payback is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a client. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I... Big gut punch. Fast. You look... Uh, he looks familiar. <laughs> he wants a gut punch. I want to give him a gut punch, alright. Uh, let's see. That's a manly drink, I do believe. Gut punch. Five... Bro okay, considering... It is hilarious that Bronson Extract is the main uh, ingredient here. So we need 10 of these. Alright, and then two of those. It's supposed to mean a punch made of innards, <laughs> but it actually describes what you feel while drinking it. Bitter, manly, and strong. You know what? I'm just gonna fill up the thing with camo dream because I like to watch the world burn and I wanna know what happens when this dude gets super drunk. Oh, oh, I have to stop. I done goofed. Because I suck and don't read the rest of it. Alright, so. All ten of these. Two of those, put the age on that, and then just fill the rest of it with the camo train. Or carmo train. My bad, I've totally been ignoring the. Uh... Alright, and mixed, so that means I just need the. Success! Here. Hmm, you can actually do it then. Hmm, this crack house is a bar? <laughs> So many mean names, right? Sounds like dog urine and soap. How do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? I'm surprised you decided to come into our little crack house at all, mister. You are kind of smack talking us unnecessarily here. What do you care? The payment registry says. Sorry for the question then, Mr. Ingram McDougal. Ingram. Sorry about the smell, we're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend, but it's Tuesday. <laughs> Got us there. Please let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant, regardless. I suppose you would want me to keep the magnets away from your ears, huh? If I pay you, will you come with me to a death? Hey, dude, not cool. <laughs> no. I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. He is not... I don't like this guy, him and his red phoenix right hair. May I ask what, why you decided to come into our bar, then? Somebody recommended me this place, and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all, and I'm starting to doubt her tastes. Harsh. A regular? Can I ask who? No. I'll concede one thing, whoever picks the music at least has different decent taste. That would be me. Thank you. Hey Jill, where did you put the dish soap? Gills run out. <laughs> Below the sink where it's always been? Right. Oh, a customer. Good evening, sir. <clears throat> Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. Oh, yeah, this, this song. I like that I- I'm really happy that I picked this one. Oh no, I kicked over my drink. So any other feedback you want to provide to the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? No, nothing. 
That's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Dana Zane, the Red Comet? What does that mean? The woman who fended off mall rioters all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one? Our boss is awesome! That's an achievement, and a title I've never heard before. I know the boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... Do you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? She has a mechanical arm? I heard a couple of stories, but they all sounded too fantastical to be true. You've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed rioters with her bare hands. Once you see something like that, it's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax, though. I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved Class 5 weaponry, and the other one a pickup artist. Ugh. And the latest had an alpaca. <laughs> an alpaca. Alright. I bet she sent him alpacking, right? An alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but... It was this woman who owns a textile company. She got really drunk and she started screaming that she was an alpaca. <laughs> she started spitting on everything afterwards. My boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's just leave it at that. <laughs> Can I get you anything else? Give me a pile driver, please. Please? There's n there's a word I haven't heard today. Coming right up. He wants a pile. <laughs> I honestly feel like suplexing him, though. <laughs> uh, I wonder, is that a could I give him uh, one of those instead? Let's try here. For Bronson. I'm gonna do this because I'm feeling dangerous. I don't know. And then three of these. Okay, on the rocks and mixed. Right. Small twist on the pile driver, putting more emphasis on the tongue burning and less on the throat burning. Bitter, manly, and burning. This isn't a pile driver. It's a local drink. My coworker came up with it. He calls it a suplex. It isn't gonna blow up in my face, is it? No, it's safe. It's even been added to the BTC's official recipe book. Good. Hey lady, have you ever f I am not reading that out loud. I don't think she appreciated that either. I'm sorry, I think I heard wrong. That's a question I'm not gonna answer. I'll take that as a yes. I, I don't like this guy. This guy I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually, but for that moment, a lie can give meaning to you. Oh, man. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Still, that's quite the random thought to just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really, I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. Harsh. Of course you were. Hey, I'm gonna need another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright. By type, I think that's in classy? Yeah, it is. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> this dude's gonna get alcohol poisoning. All right, I was just checking to make sure age was the only one I needed to click there. It's like drinking... <laughs> ethylic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. Bubbly, classic, and strong. <laughs> Success. Try not to drink it too fast, lest you get dead. That's up to me. Hey lady, have you ever felt empty? Like, hungry? Emotionally? 
No, I mean empty like there's a part of you missing. Can't say I particularly have. I just feel that there's this part of myself that lacks something. Manners. Common sense not to ask people personal questions. An urge to get or do something that I just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? Racquetball. Try it. It might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising. Sounds like a lot cheaper than the alternative. Which is drugs, I imagine? Oh. That too. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STDs, so I left midway through. Oh boy. This guy is out of control. That is really creepy. Have you tried rescuing a puppy? Yeah, puppies are great. You hired someone to act like your daughter. That's not quite as messed up, but you still, I feel like you surrender your right to comment. I'm drawing a blank then, can't think of anything that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me or believe me. Eh? I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. The smell is killing me. Please come again. Don't count on it. Guy was a jerk. Good. Phew. Boss, I'm gonna take my break. Alright. Alright. That's an interesting... Uh... Alright. Save. Day one. Break. I like the crayon drawings. Alright, so this is a good place to stop. I... I... I like the world so far, or at least just the way it's framed is cool. Hopefully you're enjoying it too, and until next time, follow me to Apex.